good morning everybody or afternoon or evening or whatever it is for you today we made it guys we made it to autumn it's here <laughs> it might be here for one day only and maybe by five o'clock it's gonna be like glorious sunshine and 20 degrees but right now I am living for it it is like 11 o'clock in the afternoon the lights are all on because it's so so dark I've got my candles lit oh it's making my soul very very happy ah oh. It just feels like such a drizzly, cold, miserable day. And when I say miserable, I mean thoroughly enjoyable. Like, I love this kind of day. You know when you've got no real plans and it's just nice to just be at home? Ah, oh, it feels good. Even Echo looks cozy and content, honestly. <laughs> so I've got my winter woolies on and I'm all cozy and so, so happy to bring me, bringing you guys along with me today. I've got, um, I kind of tried to film a week in the life, so maybe later on in the video I'll share some clips from earlier on in the week uh, because we've been doing quite a few bits and bobs and I always like to include a lot of different sections in my vlogs just to keep it interesting um, and just to share a bit more of my life with you all, so maybe that's what we'll do later on in the video, but today I want to share with you some autumn outfits. Not something I usually do, but I felt like it could be a fun thing. I just got a delivery, so I'll show you those in a little while. But for now, I'm just still in my very slow morning routine. I'm having kind of like a day off today. So I'm starting the day with my AG1 from Athletic Greens. This video is very kindly sponsored by them. You guys know I've been drinking it for a while now. And it is the best swap I've ever made. I absolutely love it. And I feel so vibrant and healthy and just... I can't imagine life without it. It's been like the best, most easy swap I have ever made in my entire life and I'm so happy to be able to support them. So inside here there are 75 vitamins and minerals and thanks to Athletic Greens I'm actually getting in all of my antioxidants, probiotics, probiotics and adaptogens all from whole food sourced ingredients which is very important to me and something that they definitely put emphasis on. So all you need is one scoop for every 8 to 12 ounces of water. You just pop it in, give it a shake this shaker bottle is amazing and super duper handy. I'm definitely taking the bottle and some packs on my honeymoon in a few weeks time. Guys, I'm so excited. But I can't imagine not drinking it when I'm away because I've drank it every single day and it's just a massive part of my routine. It's become a staple. So being able to carry on with my routine even while I'm away, it just feels really comforting. It's like a little piece of home and it's just meaning that I'm maintaining the new lifestyle that I've got and it's just supporting my health as well, which is really important to me. And like I've said in past videos, routines are so hard to start and that, you know, sometimes they can be easy to start. The thing that's hard is maintaining them. So being able to just carry on without having to break off when you go away, it's an amazing thing and it just makes life so much easier. So Athletic Greens are offering five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2 with your first purchase. So I'll leave the links down below for you guys to go and have a little look, but I highly recommend them. I get so much great feedback from you all, which makes me so happy because I love being able to share a brand that I truly support and knowing you guys are benefiting from it too just makes me so so happy and my nails are still strong they're still going well um I've got to try and figure out what wedding nails I'm gonna have maybe I need you guys' help <laughs> we can look at that later on in the video but yes it's massive part of my daily routine I feel so strong so vibrant so healthy and I can highly highly recommend them definitely so I'm gonna have a little sip because my mouth is dry from all of the talking I've just done Mm. Yum. Oh, it's so refreshing. It's literally my favourite thing. I sometimes end up with a little green bit on my nose. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is finish my drink and then I'm going to... I think I'll bring my clothes downstairs to show you all because it's a bit cramped upstairs as you know we've got quite a small house. So I'll show you my little haul of clothes. I might try them on. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing but... I'm just happy. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I hope that wherever you are, it's cozy. I sometimes forget that we're all living in different climates. So even when it's like cozy for me or really hot for me, it could be completely different for where you are. So let me know down below where you're from, what the weather's like today and what your favorite season is. We are definitely in my favorite season, cozy season. I feel like it's everyone's favorite season on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're all homebodies and like we all just like being at home and yeah, just being cozy. I mean, yeah. What more can you want in life? <laughs> Had a slight change of plan and just decided to go grab all of my bits and bobs and show you guys. You should see the pile that I've got here. One minute. We've got a bit of a disaster going on. I haven't got fluffy socks on and I feel like, 
you know, if there was ever a day to wear fluffy socks, today was the day. <laughs> I thought I'd put you here so you can see my beautiful baby. <laughs> oh, it looks so cozy. So, um, as you all know, I am no fashionista, but I love comfortable and cozy clothes. So, and I know a lot of you do too. Do you know, just like comfy loungewear kind of style. Um, my body shape's changed a lot in the last year <laughs> and I've noticed something different is I don't want to wear a lot of like massively baggy oversized clothes anymore. I think a lot of it's come from self-confidence, not wanting to hide my body. I've worked damn hard to get to where I am now and I'm feeling good in clothes that are a little bit tighter and that just feel a little bit nicer. But now we are coming back around to like the cozier season, to winter where it's colder. I think my wardrobe might change with that too. So the first thing I'll show you guys, I've got quite a bit of clothing going on. Um, it is from online. I know some of you might not support that, but the thing is, is we're all in different situations in life and not everybody has lots of money to buy ethical clothing. And I do go to charity shops. I'm gonna stand up for myself here. I do shop at charity shops. I do find it difficult because I am an average size for the UK and I think that sometimes that can make it harder because everyone's kind of wanting the same style of clothes and same size clothes and so it does make it difficult and then obviously I can't share those things with you guys so I've just been honest <laughs> and owning it. Um, I'm not massively proud of myself but also I just feel good and I've spent so long through my life not wearing clothes that are fashionable because I just felt so conflicted about it all the time. Um, you know, not being able to go shopping with my friends because I didn't support those outlets and things like that. And you know what, I've just relaxed a lot in the last few years. And not to say, you know, it's great, but a lot of brands are trying harder now, which is nice to see. But if you can recommend any more affordable, like more ethical clothing brands, then please let me know down below because it's something I'm super interested in learning more about. But for now, <laughs> the first ones I'm going to show you, which are probably covered in cat hair because you know that I don't wear dark clothes, are these leggings. These are from last year, but I've had loads of questions about them recently. So these are the chocolate brown leggings from Love Leggings. They are super duper comfortable. These are a size... what size are these? These are a 12. Um, so these fit me last year and they fit me quite well this year. I think I would size down a little bit now. I think you can be quite lenient with these. Um, obviously they stretch, that's a good thing. And they are super thick. Someone asked me recently if they're squat proof. I couldn't say, um, I'm not sure and I'm not about to squat on camera for you guys. <laughs> I don't wear them as trousers so it's not something that I could advise you on. But they do have amazing customer service so definitely recommend them. So yes, I had these last year in the um, like beige colour and I loved those as well. So I will be repurchasing those this year as well. But yes, fantastic leggings. I highly recommend. Couldn't live without. I had a pair of like lighter brown leggings last year. They were from H&M so I will keep my eyes out for those as well and share any brands as I go. So that is those. <sighs> the best, <laughs> the best clothing here, right? So this is one I showed you guys in my last video. You should see this mountain of clothing. You can tell I'm no fashion vlogger. Um, this was from Tesco and you've seen it on me. I wore it in one of my last videos, I believe. It is just a cardigan. It's super comfy, it's so soft. And I love the colour of it, as you know, I like to blend in with my house. That was what someone once said to me. <laughs> they were like, it's nice to see you wearing colour for a change. Usually you're blending with the walls and it did make me smile. Um, I can't help it. It's like an ongoing joke with me and my family that even the cat's blending with the decor. I just like what I like, you know? <laughs> so love, love, love that. And that was from Tesco. Again, super affordable and easy. A lot of my clothes tend to come from supermarkets and I have no shame about it because it's easy, it's convenient and I find the quality is like brilliant. You know, you get a lot for your money and it lasts, lasts and lasts. A lot of the time when I go to charity shops, the clothes that I get from there are either from Primark or they're from a supermarket because I do think that they last quite well. Um, next we've got, I mean, this is inside out, you can tell I've been wearing this. So I picked this up um, yesterday when I was off to my mum's house. So we don't have a big Asda around us. We just got like a tiny little baby version that doesn't have clothing. But I've always found Georgia Asda have like the best clothes. I'm sorry if you're not from England, you can't relate to this. But hopefully you enjoy seeing the clothes. So it's just a very nice material, like super soft and lovely. Not massively thick, but also it is warm. 
um, it's just a jumper dress sort of style thing with little puffed sleeves which I love and it comes below my knees which I love as well because I find that when they come above my knees it just doesn't flatter my figure as much. So these and the chocolate brown leggings, I mean they're a match made in heaven right? <laughs> So that is again a supermarket one, love it, so comfy and just so so nice. I'm trying really hard this year to have more of like a capsule wardrobe so lots of bits kind of all go together, they're all kind of neutral colours and they just look nice together. This next one, very very happy with, oh, it's making my soul happy. It's darker than what I'd usually wear but also I love it. It reminds me of the pillows I had last Christmas. So this one's from Boohoo, the next few things are from Boohoo and I do like Boohoo, I think they have some really great stuff in. It's a little bit bigger than I'd have liked but it is supposed to be oversized so again it's just me and my little thing with oversized clothes and knowing, you know, are they too oversized? Are they making me look massive? Because I think sometimes oversized clothes can do that, they can make you look much bigger than you actually are. But this is just so nice for just wearing and I'm really excited to go pumpkin picking and I might wear this then. So yeah, just a really nice baggy, comfortable um, check shirt and it's long too and it's got long sleeves which is amazing. The other thing that I've just remembered, I've got on, <laughs> I've got this really nice sort of like a cropped style jumper and I've got it on with my lily silk bra because it's got quite a scooped neck um, and it's just really comfy I really like it again it's got like slight puffed sleeves which is really really nice Um, moving on I'm not sure about this one guys let me know what you think because I don't really do blue and it's giving me like humbug vibes do you know what I mean I think it's humbugs same style as the last one but it's got a bit of blue going through so it's a bit lighter that's what drew me to it Um, wasn't really sure about it it's the same size as the last one but it is comfy because it's the same style <laughs> I'm just not sure about the colour so let me know what you think and you th if you think I should send this one back because I'm I'm very much on the fence but it is nice to just have another one to just be able to chuck on around the house with some leggings and a nice t-shirt Um, yeah I like that. I will leave links to all of these things down below if I can find them. Then the last thing from Boohoo, which is not really like autumn, <laughs> but it's something I want to share with you. So as you know, if you didn't know already, if I haven't spoke about it enough, we get married in a month. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's coming around so quickly and because it's in autumn, or like October, it's like a funny time of year. I'm not sure if it's just going to be like super cold like it is today or if it's going to be really muggy like it has been. Um, it might be like 30 degrees in sunshine, you never really know with England. But I wanted something to wear, so the night before our wedding we're having a meal and we're staying at this really beautiful hotel with our close family, my bridesmaids, Dom's best man and our just lovely friends. And I wanted to wear something nice, so I was looking for something white. I ordered something white from Boohoo and I sent it straight back because it was completely see-through. And so I have ended up with this kind of taupe colour, which I think taupe washes me out to be honest, but this looks really nice on. Um, so I can't really show you very well, so I will make sure I put up a video. It's super comfy. The only thing I need to do is take the legs up because I am very short. I am five foot, just about five foot three, more like five foot two. <laughs> the first thing, if any of you ever see me out in public, the first thing people say is, oh my God, you're so short. It's like, yeah, I know, I am very short. Um, it's really nice. It's so comfy and I can take this with me on my honeymoon. I really like the detail on the sleeves and the little belt it's got and the little like puffy bit on the on the belly. Um, again, it's just a really nice style and I love a play suit. I find play suits super duper comfortable. So that's that. Very happy. Very happy indeed with this. It's such a beautiful thing and it's double layered. So I made sure when I ordered again, it was double layered because I wasn't having anything else that was see-through. It's a shame they didn't do it in white because it would have been so fun to have it in white. Um, but I know how messy I am so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> the last thing is... <laughs> A little bit random it's another shirt can you tell I was feeling autumnal when I was doing the ordering for these things Um, last year we just got engaged in October and so we didn't have much money because we were like massively saving for the wedding so I didn't really buy any new things and I just kind of wore what I already had but because of that I didn't feel very confident or very comfortable so I'm making sure I make a change to that this year this is from Amazon and I love it, I love the colour of it, it's beautiful, it's exactly what I wanted, but it's not what I ordered. <laughs> I 
and some of the reviews said this so on the picture there are these beautiful um like brass coloured buttons that go down which looked amazing so I am going to order some from Amazon and change them because I think silver does not go and as well it's like it's too short in the sleeve so it's more of a cropped sleeve which is a bit random because it's really woolly like super fluffy so it's really warm so why would it be a cropped sleeve I don't know but I'm gonna see so maybe with like a long thermal white top underneath it would be really nice and it's just about long enough to cover my bum as well so I am gonna keep it I do like it it is a bit annoying because it was quite expensive that it's not exactly what I ordered I think I ordered let me see what size I ordered does it even have it, does, it doesn't even have oh no wait there we go um Oh, I got a medium, so I would say size up in this, get yourself the large, uh, if you're the same size as me, because then it gives you that extra arm room. Um, I'm not sure how I would cope with this actually wearing it, I've not properly worn it yet, but again, I got pumpkin picking vibes, you know, like cosy cafes, oh, I can't wait to bring you guys along for autumn. I'm going to just really make the most out of it this year, and I can't wait for it all, it's going to be so good. Anyway. <laughs> that is my little fashion haul. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing what I bought. Um, like I say, if you've got any brands or any clothes that you can recommend for me, then let me know. Um, you can DM me on Instagram or just like message me down below as well. I always like to chat to you guys. I love this. I love the colour of this. I wish I could have this in my other ones. You know, like in the longer <laughs> ones, it would be perfect. You can't have it all, can you? You can't have it all. But this is super nice and super comfy as well. I think... This week I am going to go um, autumn shopping. So I know I've already got a lot upstairs in the loft from last year. I bought quite a bit. And I'm not one of these people who's going to keep going out and buying more and more and more and changing all my decor every year. It's been nice to see this year quite a few of the people who I watch just reusing decor and just getting extra candles and bits. I think that's the kind of vibe I'm going to go for. But I do love an autumn shop. Just even a window shop is fun. Um, and I do need to go to Meadow Hall, which we call Meadow Hell. <laughs> I don't go there very often, usually for my Christmas shop. But I need some last minute wedding bits. So Dom needs an aftershave and I need a new perfume. So while I'm there, I might nip into like Lush and the body shop and just have a little mooch around, do a little bit of a shop. So if you want to see that video, let me know. Um, I'm thinking about filming it sometime in the next few weeks now that we are coming into autumn. Uh, I love in my last video I was like I'm not going to film autumn vlogs yet because it's not autumn and now I'm like give me all the autumn content. <laughs> oh goodness me. Anyway it's just so nice to just be at home and just be warm and cosy and just yeah I feel really com comfortable with the clothes that I've bought and I'm feeling really good about it all as well and I'm feeling so confident now on the lead up to my wedding and I think a lot of it is down to some of the lifestyle changes I've made so you know eating healthier, starting to drink AG1, I've actually been looking after my health properly in terms of like I don't know just physically moving my body, keeping myself accountable, I did the Chloe Ting challenge, it's just been like a really big evolving journey the whole way through and honestly I feel the most confident I've ever felt in my life. It's been the most amazing journey and I'm just so, so happy about it. I, I've i got no regrets, you know, I just feel so much better than I did this time last year. This time last year, oof, I didn't feel great. <laughs> I really didn't feel great. Some of you said to me recently, you were like, you know, we watched, you watched one of my old vlogs and you couldn't believe how much I'd changed and it's insane because even though I was happy and jolly in those vlogs, I felt so sluggish and so low and just everything was a drag, everything was an effort and now I've just got like a pep in my step. Don't get me wrong, some days are hard, you know, some days are harder but I just drink a load of water, drink my AG1, have a coffee, eat some nice food, get some fresh air and I'm just like, that it gets me going so much more than it used to just take me like an entire day and by five o'clock I'd finally feel up to having a day and then it was like, night time because <laughs> we get into that time of year now you know um when it gets to three o'clock and I draw my curtains and have done with it for the night but I don't know <laughs> anyway I will jump back I guess in time now and we'll take you ring shopping for Dom's ring and I also go out with my nana to um 
a really nice garden centre, we had a lovely day so I'll share those bits with you now just so I don't lose them, just for my own memory's sake and just to give this vlog a little bit of a difference too and then we'll come back to now and I think I'm going to make some delicious food and just have a nice chilled out day. Hello, so today we are going to get Dom's wedding band. I really hope we are anyway, <laughs> we're going to go and look at some. I'm not sure again how much I'm going to be able to film, some places don't like you to film but Fingers crossed we find something he likes, or at least narrow down what he actually wants. Um, we've got <laughs> quite, we've not got long now till the wedding in terms of, you know, buying custom wedding bands. So um, I'm really, really hoping that we can get it sorted today. So we're going to Sheffield, there's a ring jewellers there who does this special ring called, I think it's Damascus steel ring, which is something Dom's really interested in. He also really likes titanium rings, so we're going to see. Um, and I will try and bring you guys along, and if not, I'll give you an update when we get back. <laughs> So today is my beautiful Nanan's birthday and we're going to have a nice day. We were originally going to go to the seaside to Skeggy, it's her favourite place, but it's a bit of a funny old day, it's a bit rainy. So instead we're going to go to a garden centre. Hi Rory! And I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, I think it's going to be a really nice day and I don't think I've been to this garden centre before and I've got my, um, my driving glasses on because I'm about to set off. <laughs> what have you got to say about it all then? Hey! <laughs> Do you want to come? Oh, Rory, Rory, hello, boo boo. <laughs> Hi, it's Rainy Day K again here. So it's been many days since the footage that I've just shared with you and Dom's ring actually arrived. So they said it might take up to three weeks. It took a few days, so it really didn't take very long. And it came in this very cute little pouch and I'll show you guys. Um, I highly recommend, we had such a good time. So we went to Sheffield, I think it's called Sheffield Steel. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, Finn. Flynn and Steel is the brand that we went to. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. We had such a good time looking at all the rings. Dom didn't go for what we thought we were gonna go for, which just shows it's worth going into shops to try things on. So this is his ring. I asked him if I could share it and he said yes. So it's actually made from steel. It's gonna be massive on my finger. I won't even try. So it's like a brushed effect. It's so pretty and it's so soft absolutely lovely and it goes really well with my whoop, <laughs> I don't know if you can see with my rings um, and then I thought I would just show you I've showed you guys these a million times anyway but this is my wedding band whoop. so it's just a half eternity oh gosh it's not having a good time is it 
and so they go really really well together not that that matters in the slightest but it makes me very happy so yes we are finally ready we're finally ready for the wedding because you can't really get married without dom's wedding band so that was amazing that it came so quickly and it's got a lovely little case as well so very very happy with that and just feel like i can breathe now <laughs> all of the last bits for the wedding are being ticked off and i'm feeling really like Good. I hope I'm not jinxing myself by saying that, but I'm feeling on top of everything, which is such a good feeling to be feeling. <laughs> so I was trying to show you guys Dom's ring and the only one it fit on was my thumb. So I've got a thumb ring going on, but I feel like you can see the color a lot better next to skin. Um, it's really, really nice and really, really pretty. And if you've not seen my engagement ring before, why not while I'm showing it off? It's there. It's a mozzanite and I love it. So yeah. Um, I am going to make a... Uh like a cozy comforting meal today so I'm gonna have it for my lunch. Dom's on a really late shift today so I've got the house to myself so I'll save him some for when he comes home but I'm just feeling like a kind of cozy stew vibe today and I've got a meal left over in the fridge that I need to make so I think that's what I'm gonna do um, and maybe while that's cooking just have a sit down watch some Virgin River be very cliche like that but you guys know I live for it. <laughs> anyway let's go to the kitchen and see what we can cook up. So I've got to put my apron on because I'm wearing white and I know myself so well. Um, I'm very messy, I'm a very messy chef. <laughs> I'll never change. No matter how careful I am, I always manage it. I'll get all the way through cooking and then I'll just spill it down right at the end anyway. I got this from TK Maxx last year and I was really looking for like a nice apron and I found this and I was very, very happy with it and it's done me well um, all this time. So. Yes, yeah, so what I'm making is this um, piri piri pork and black bean stew. Looks delicious and I cannot wait to try it. It looks exactly what I need this very cosy, dreary afternoon. It's getting too loud. So I've just got this bowl of chilli with some sourdough and the weather is doing exactly what I said. It's getting a bit hot, it's doing the whole greenhouse thing. I'll be so glad, that sounds miserable doesn't it, but I'll be so glad when it just stays cooler. Um, oh, let me have a little tasty of this. Mm. Yum yum yum. Mm. That is exactly what I needed this afternoon. Mm. I want to know if it's just me who as soon as it rains, I'm like, I really want to go for a walk. I don't know what it is about the rain, but I love the rain. So I'm going to get myself a giant golf umbrella this year. I promised myself last year and I never actually did it. But I'm going to get a giant golf umbrella so that I can make the most of the dreary weather in the winter and just go for long walks with my umbrella because it's so peaceful. Two of my favourite things. One is like when you've got your hood up and you're on a walk and it's like snowing or it's raining and it's like pattering on your rain, on your rain, on your hood. It's so peaceful. And the other one is when you're just sat in the car like at a supermarket or something and it's just raining and it's just like, oh, it's so peaceful. I wonder if it's from like when we're kids 
and you know like when you go in your push chair or your buggy or whatever you call it when you're a kid and your mum has like the um, plastic sheet that goes over it I wonder if it's from that because that feels like it would be really cosy like can they not do adult versions of those I guess they're called cars <laughs> anyway I'm gonna leave myself with my thoughts rather than have you suffer them <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit when I finish my food So uh, I seem to be a little bit stuck. I think this is probably going to be me for the next half an hour until he wakes up and wonders where the heck he is. Look how cute he is. Bless him. So I've just had a really nice afternoon. I'm just watching a little bit of Virgin River now and it's so cosy. I'm trying to drink my coffee but it's absolutely boiling. I don't want to disturb him. I think I will end this video here because I'm not going to be getting up to very much else now. I'm kind of stuck under the cat. <laughs> Honestly, it's like having a baby. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been a really nice day to be honest and I'm happy I was able to share those other clips with you as well. I'll go back to sleep, it's okay. Bless him. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to go up to much else. I'm just having a really good chilled one. Much needed after the chaotic few weeks I've had. So I hope that I've been able to bring a little bit of peace and calmness into your day and to remind you that time for yourself does not have to look like anything too dramatic. I don't think I'll need to eat for the rest of the day because I'm so stuffed. Um, I'll probably just have like a lighter tea because I've kind of done meals the other way around today but it was a very very delicious, very very nice. Don't forget as well guys you can get five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D3 K2 with your first purchase with Athletic Greens so I'll leave the link as always down below for you all to have a little look at but highly recommend them for feeling good, vibrant, healthy and alive which is what we all want to feel. <sighs> I'm so living for this. I am living for autumn. Oh, I can't wait to bring so much cozy content to you all. So I hope you're all excited. And if you're already in that mood, I've got loads of videos from last year. So I'll make sure I leave a playlist down below. But thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to have to go because my arm is killing. I am out of practice with this whole holding the vlog camera thing. <laughs> I just put it on a tripod. Um, I really hope you all have a lovely, cozy, enjoyable rest of your day and a lovely week ahead. Thank you so much for being here. Speak to you all soon. Bye.